Hi, this is Paul Horn. I am a California probate attorney. I'm, I'm also a CPA. So I'm here to talk to you today about Proposition 19. Proposition 19 is going to be the law of the land starting February 15th of 2021 for property taxes that's going to get passed on to your children. Okay. So the the current property tax, just to give you an idea, the current property tax, Proposition 13, essentially, if you bought a house in the 70s, the 80s, it's worth a million, $2 million, you're paying very low property tax, okay? That's your Prop 13. So for example, if you bought a house for 100,000 40 years ago, now you pass away, the house is worth, let's say one point, um, let's say it's worth a million. You get to keep your low property tax, even though the house is worth a million, your property tax is assessed at a hundred thousand, okay? Now, the question is, the question is, once you pass away, are your children, your son, your daughter, able to retain the old property tax? Because the current law, Prop 58 allows you to do that. The current law, Prop 58 says, hey, that low property tax that you're paying right now on your house will get passed to your children. Come, come February 15th of 2021, mom and dad pass away, Prop 19 takes over, okay? So for example, if we look at the comparison between the current law versus Prop 19 that's coming into effect February, um, February um, 16, 2021. You see on the screen, I laid out for you, this is the bad part of Prop 19. The current law, the current law as regard to property tax getting passed to your children, that's Prop 58, Prop 193 grandchild grandchildren, okay? So under the current law, Prop 58, you may have bought that house um, for 100,000. Let's say it's worth 5 million now. Under Prop 58, you are allowed to, once you pass away, your son or daughter gets the house, there's no property tax reassessment. Under the current law, under the current law, Prop 58, you bought the house for 100,000 50 years ago. Now it's worth 3 million. It's your primary resident. You pass away. Your son or daughter inherits the house. They keep the house. They can keep your low, low property tax. Okay? It's not going to get reassessed to the market value under the current law, uh, Prop 58. But Prop 19 is going to change all that. Prop 19 is going to say, hey, your primary resident. And it's got to be your child primary resident. We're only going to give you the assessed value plus a million dollars. So for example, you bought the house for 100,000. Now it's worth 5 million. Okay. They're only going to give you up to 1.1 million of no reassessment. Okay. So there's a big change in Prop 19. It's coming. It's going to be very problematic, even as your primary resident. Your rental property, kiss it goodbye, it's all over. All rental property under Prop 19, it's going to be wiped out, meaning it's going to get reassessed. It's going to get reassessed, okay? So that's the bad part of Prop 19. Now, there are certain things, there are certain things we can do to fix this bad part. For example, we can create you can use, you can, because Prop 58 does not take effect until February 15th of 2021. You can use the current Prop 58, put your property into what we call a Proposition 19 Irrevocable Trust, where we take advantage of the current Prop 58 law before it's extinct. We put it, so it's essentially it's going to be a grand tour irrevocable trust, a Proposition 19 irrevocable trust that's going to allow you to keep the same property tax basis for your children 
and also give you a step up basis. Okay. Or maybe you don't, or maybe under certain situation, you don't want to do that. You don't want to give your property away. You don't want to incur the legal fee. Just give it to your children now. But their implication is no step up basis. Or maybe another option is do nothing. Why do nothing? You own 10 houses right now. Once you pass away, your son, your daughter has, has expressed to you they have no interest in being a landlord. They can say, hey, mom and dad, we love you very much. But once you pass away, we do not want to be landlord. We're probably going to sell it all, get the step up basis, take the money, go invest in stock, and we're good. In that case, don't do anything, right? If you are a real estate investor going forward, you want to buy your house in an LLC. If you're a real estate investor and you're going to accumulate a lot of rental property, do it under an LLC. You have to buy the property directly into the LLC. Okay, That's a loophole in the property tax law. That is your famous Michael Dell case, the Fairmont case. Okay, So you buy directly into the LLC. And then when it gets passed on to your kid, there's no property tax assessment. So that's how you're going to beat the bad part of Prop 19. Let's talk a little about the good part of Prop 19. The good Prop 19 is, hey, um, if you're over 55 years old, disabled, or you've lost your home in a nat uh, natural disaster, you up to three times, you're now able to carry your old property tax basis anywhere in the state of California. Okay. So for example, uh, mom and dad bought the house for 200,000. Now it's worth 2 million. But you know what? Mom and dad wants to relocate closer to their daughter, their son. But they, they can't afford the new property tax. Well, Prop 19, the good part of it says, hey, you can go ahead and port, transfer this low property tax of 200 grand to your new resident. You say, hey, hey but, but you know, Prop 60, Prop 90 does that currently. That's true, but it's only you can only do it once in your lifetime. Prop 19 says you can do it three times and you can buy it at a higher value too. So your current house worth 2 million, your property tax basis is only 200 grand. You can actually buy a $2.5 million and you can still transfer your old property tax over up to 2 million and you just be a and you just pay the tax on a different, the reassessment. Okay. Effective data and this good part where it's gonna allow senior citizens tremendous flexibility. The effective date is April 1st of 2021. So, so to sum this video up, to sum this video up, the good part is great. It's gonna open up the inventory real estate. It's gonna be terrific for the senior citizen, okay? The bad part is that for those who owns a lot of real estate, their property tax is gonna skyrocket when they pass away to their kid, which could be very problematic. And if it's problematic, there are solution to it. There are solution to it. Maybe we can possibly analyze your particular family case by case to see if you are a candidate to put all your rental property into a Proposition 19 irrevocable trust to preserve the current Prop 58 before it's gone. Okay. So, um, I'm a, I am an estate planning specialist certified by the State Bar of California. Give me a call. We're more than happy to help you out. Click below is my website. Thank you.